Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are having an amazing start of your day. Uh, I am very grateful for all of you for listening in. I'm grateful for this morning. I'm grateful for waking up. I truly do believe that living life and actually just being alive is one of the greatest things ever um, because we get to experience, we get to learn, we get to grow, we get to dream, we get to have all of these experiences. And so I'm just so grateful for this life today. Um, and again, grateful for you guys. So for this episode, um, we're going to talk a little bit about energy. It's one of the most important concepts uh, that I kind of operate by. And uh, I really do think that having high energy allows you to be a lot happier and uh, essentially fulfill a lot of your goals and things you'd like to accomplish. So I think it's really important for me to kind of tease it out a little bit. Um, if you guys don't know who I am, I am Taylor Brana. I'm a current uh, psychiatry resident and I'm in Philadelphia. And uh, I started the Happy Doc because I was exhausted, depressed, anxious in medical school. And I was reaching out to other happy docs, other professionals, other successful entrepreneurs and individuals in order to understand what it meant to be happy. Um, you know, it was a big transition from, uh, you know, the younger adult life into more of the, uh, you know, uh, active adult life, if you will. Um, and also trying to understand more about how to manage medical school and life beyond and create a successful life. So there was a lot of questions I asked throughout that process. And now we're on episode 157. So let's get it. So energy awareness is uh, a really important concept. But first, let's talk about energy. When I'm talking about energy in in this case, uh, around awareness, I'm focusing in on that energy you feel inside of yourself. You know, you wake up in the morning uh, at a certain energy level. Are you really ready to go? Do you have the energy to start to get your day moving? Do you uh, feel like you're waking up sluggish? Are you tired? Are you exhausted? Are you having a hard time concentrating? All of those things are super important. And where do we get our energy? Well, technically, as you guys know, the energy comes from ATP and ATP comes from mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the cell, right? So the energy is essentially what lets us have all of our functions. And when we are incapable of producing any energy anymore, uh, we are, we are dead. We need our ATP, right? But, um, what I want to say is that we all wake up with a certain amount in our gas tank. Um, and that gas tank needs to be recharged. It needs to be well kept, uh, taken care of. And, and so it's really important to do an inventory or a look at your energy. I don't know how other people do it. Some people, like for me, I'm more intuitive and I can sense kind of where my energy is at. Um, but you can also mark your energy in a journal and just say like, how, where am I at around, uh, out of 10, which again is kind of subjective. Um, the other thing I did purchase and I'm not endorsing them in any way. It's, it's up to you if you want to try to use it is I actually have an aura ring and the aura ring is a tracker that tells me how I slept last night and what exercise level I got to the previous day. And it kind of just gives me a little bit of feedback in terms of, where I'm at on an objective level, which is also pretty nice. Whatever you do, um, you know, um, in general, when your energy is high and you might know when your energy is low. What are some things to be aware of in terms of energy throughout the day? So like when your energy is good, you tend to be a little bit more positive. You are able to take more action for yourself. You're able to communicate to people with uh, a sense of joy, with a sense of smile. You're able to be active uh, through a good part of the day and do what you'd like to do without feeling exhausted. Um, People can feel good energy. It it comes out of your tone. It comes out of the way that you speak. It comes in the way that you're uh, confident what are the reason why we're attracted to people with, you know, who stand up a little straighter and look a little bit more in shape and all those things? It denotes someone with good health and good energy. So that's all things that are important. On the flip side, if you are exhausted and you have low energy, uh, you will hang your shoulders a little bit lower. You're going to look more tired. You're not going to want to talk to anyone. You are on, you are not going to want to get out of bed. You are going to be feeling sad or depressed. You're not going to be able to accomplish the things you'd like to accomplish. And so you can see that, um, there is a clear difference. 
So if you're energy aware, what does that mean? Energy awareness to me is doing a check-in and being cognizant of your energy levels so that you can maximize it throughout the day. So um, there's different methods of increasing your energy, but if you don't understand if your energy has changed, you can't take the necessary steps to change it, right? So you have to be aware that, wait a second, my energy is a lot lower lately. What are some changes I can make? Now, the changes, that's a whole other set of ideas and conversations, and it's a lot of the stuff we've kind of talked about before, but right now I just want to focus in on that energy meter. So for an example, to give you guys a little bit of story of how this actually plays out, I uh, yesterday I was at work um, in the outpatient setting, and um, I had a ridiculous amount of patients to see yesterday and notes to write. And it came to a point that I literally... My eyes were getting super tired. I was getting like pretty exhausted through um, trying to get through all these notes. I was staring at the computer screen for a long time. And I looked, I looked in myself for a second, just reflected. I'm like, crap, I'm like, my energy is low right now. I cannot do this. So in those times, a lot of people will barrel through. But when you barrel through low energy, what ends up happening is it's kind of like a bank account. You've just gone into uh, the negative, and now when you when you go in the red in a bank account, when you go into the negative, what happens? You get an overdraft fee, and that's the same with your energy levels. When you go past zero, and you overdraft, and you have to uh, muster up energy from zero or below zero, you get charged a fee. You get more exhausted the next day. And this is kind of where the whole burnout thing comes in, right? When you're so tired and exhausted and you can never catch up, and then you're constantly extracting energy from below zero, you know, that is where you're starting to essentially um, waste your systems, damage your systems, and ultimately you are. I'm hurting yourself. So it's very important to do that check-in. So in the example I gave, I'm writing notes. I'm in the office. I just can't do it anymore. I'm exhausted. Well, I knew I was in my office. So what did I do? The doors are already, already closed. I took a nap on my floor. I mean, I set something up to try to make it softer, but I got on my back. I relaxed. I put my jacket next to me and I just turned off the lights and I took a nap in the office because I knew that getting my energy up, that relaxing for a little bit, that trying to take off that stress, because I was also feeling, feeling really anxious and stressed yesterday, would help me be more effective so that I could finish my work, feel more accomplished, and increase my energy. Now, I know not everyone has that, but um, another thing I used to do um, when I was working in the inpatient units is there was a meditation room um, slash prayer room in our hospital. And I'd go down and sit in there for 15 minutes, close my eyes and just kind of meditate or get into a calm space. So we need to do these inventories of our energy. If you notice your energy is dropping, do something that recharges you. And that's going to be different for every person, but like rest, meditation, just getting calm, doing some deep breaths, taking a little bit of time for yourself when you have crazy busy days is really important to notice because long term, those recharges are going to do you a lot of good and actually make you more effective. And it's important to have that awareness of your energy in order to do that. So uh, again, energy is something that's incre in increasingly important. When you have a busy lifestyle, you have to do these check-ins to make sure your energy is on point, to make sure the energy is okay. And um, there's just so much to talk about with energy that this is like literally a book's worth of information, of techniques, of different things that you can do for yourself in order to um, impact energy. But of course, the simple things always matter. Good sleep, exercise, educating yourself on something that you love. Um, diet and nutrition is incre in incredibly important. And uh, water, water. Drinking enough water is uh, essential to life. Um, and then, of course, uh, you know, anything else that really fits into um, your, you know, the things that recharge you. The other one that also comes to mind is social, uh, being social with your friends, being social with your family, spending some time with people that you love, getting that oxytocin in with some good hugs, right? And all those things and staying connected. So those are some ideas for today around energy and energy awareness. I hope you enjoyed that episode. And my ask of you this episode is simple. 
pay attention more to your energy. Notice when it's starting to drop. Understand certain techniques for yourself that might be helpful. And increase your general um, energy with things that are good for you. You know what you know. You know what the th- those things are. So um, I'm going to leave it at that for today. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.